In today's video, I face the number one ranked person inside of Hall of Masters, and I also have an insane late game. So let's hop right into it, guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our first match of the video is against the current number one player on the leaderboard. So I got to make sure I focus up for this one. We're getting my tax shirt down right here at the start of the round here, and we will see how this plays out. Excited for this one. I am indeed excited for this matchup. It should be a good one. We'll try to get this tax shooter upgraded to um, even faster firing here in a second. We'll go for round two Jericho will be my plan. Round two Jericho will be the plan of the day there. And we'll see how this plays out. They got their Cyber Quincy down nicely done. So they're going Cyber Quincy here, which is actually interesting because they're not going Jericho. So normally I do see Jericho here, but Cyber Quincy is certainly an option. Don't get me wrong. It's definitely one of the one of the heroes of all time. And it was buffed a lot in the recent update. So that is part of... I'm guessing the reason why they're bringing it. All right, let's get my Jericho down. Perfect. Clean up some of these balloons for me. Clean up some of the balloons. They're going to layer on me. That's fine. It's not an issue. One more eco boost. I get this up to a, um, I get this up to a blade shooter. All right, we're good. They're going farm here, actually. Oh, that is something. I didn't expect farm. I thought they'd be going tack mortar boat. Okay. They might be going tack mortar farm. It's honestly an option. That is definitely an option. They use rapid shot there. Okay. They're going to get their blade shooter up here pretty soon, I'd imagine. Yep, there's the blade. All right. Farm is actually really interesting. Get my boat down right here. And we will continue space decoing. And I'll plan on getting a round six merchant man. Round six merchant man will be pretty good for me. That'll be the game plan here. I'm not really gonna go force defense on their side to yellow balloons because the Quincy helps out their tax shooter enough on this map. If they have something like Jericho, you can force defense against a, just a blade shooter, but Quincy does not let that happen. Does not let that slide. You know what I'm saying? All right. Two eco boosts, I'll get my um, merchant man up. And two eco boosts, and they'll be pretty, and they'll be chilling. Round six merchantman's not bad at all. Not bad at all. There we go. Okay, we'll send them some yells now. We'll use force the rapid shot, and then we'll send more. Force the boost, and then I'll send more. Okay, force to mortar. I'll take that. I'll take that. Let's get my mortar down. We're vibing. They're not sending me anything, alright. Send them a couple of these. We'll continue Max Eco in here. Get a second mortar. We'll steal from them here. All right, nicely defended. They're down to nine lives, though. They're really low. Start my mortar. We're good. The rush did nothing against me. And we're gonna re-rush them. Alright, we forced rapid shot. I'll rush them again here in a sec. Oh, we got some regrow. Alright. take it. I'll rush them again here in a second. Ring of fire. Okay. All right. I'll take that. We forced a lot of defense. That's good. That's very, very good. Those were a series of good rushes there. 
An excellent series of rushing from Ryan Mahalik. They don't honestly expect the Ring of Fire play to come out. It's interesting, but it defends. Um, how many boosts have we forced on opponent's side? I think two boosts have been done. If I remember correctly. Two boosts have been forced. Which is pretty decent. Okay, we're gonna go to like... I don't know how much eco I want. Are they ecoing right now? Can't even tell. I don't think they are. Okay, we're gonna stop eco and then right there. And prepare to be rushed. Uh, if they don't rush me, I'll rush them. Alright, we're good against their rush. They're good against mine. Send them a re-rush. I should be fine against this rush. Force their A-bat. That's perfect. And then enforce mine. Okay, they're out of farms now. This is really good. They are completely out of farms. Send me a BFB. I'm gonna get a bit A bat against this. Actually, I can misdirect this, right? I can just misdirect this. I'll get an A bat against this Moab, though. Should be fine here. Yep, we're good, we're good. Misdirect this. And that's a GG, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you do it, bro. No one beats me, dude. No one beats me at this strategy. This is my strat. Let's go. I'll catch y'all next game, bro. Beating top one player just like that. Alright guys, I've got to confess, that actually wasn't the top one player, I just figured that out after the match because I looked up their profile. It was like number 10, it was like number 15 I think on the leaderboard. Um, They have the exact same name as the top one player and like the same stuff, so I thought it was, but um, you know, it is what it is. It was still a really good game, not nonetheless. I still think that I played that really well, it was a good game. We're in CSA leader here for our next match, we're starting with our striker Jones here. I'm going Bolt Mortar Farm, which is actually a really good strategy in this map, I just haven't really ever used it for a video, so I'm going to show you how to use it here today. The nice part about the strategy is you can micro monkey nomics under favorite traits because you have both farm and boat in the same loadout. So that would definitely be helpful here. Opponent's going tack with striker. So I assume they are probably going um tack sniper mortar here, which is also a really good strategy in this map. So it should be a pretty fun matchup. Side for it. Actually, they're sending me spaced balloons, so I doubt that is their strategy if they're sending me space stuff. Normally space balloons mean you have a farm in your loadout. I get my grape shot up. Grape shot. This should clean up some of the leaks for me. Yep, Striker Jones, do your work. Do your work, Striker Jones. That's what I'm talking about. And we will continue with the red balloons. And start saving up for my first farm. Will be the plan. Oh, never mind. They do have eco. Because they're sending me blues. Alright. I was wrong. I was wrong, chat. I'll admit it. I was wrong. Sometimes you're wrong and you just gotta admit it, you know? Sometimes you're wrong and you just have to straight up admit it. Take take the bullet, you know what I'm saying? Alright, we'll get my farm down here. And then we'll start saving up for my cannon ship after I get my farm down. Will be the plan. Get my farm down and then start saving up for the cannon ship. Alright, you send me pinks. Let's use that ability to deal with some of them. I will leak a lot here, don't get me wrong. I'm going to leak quite a bit, but I think I'll be fine at the end of the day. Oh yeah, it's actually not even causing that many leaks, to be honest. I thought it'd be causing more leaks than this. Let's just get increased production then. Let's just keep farming. And then we'll, we'll start saving up for the cannon ship afterwards. Alright, cannon ship and one eco boost. Perfect. 
We're chilling, we're chilling. Now, the one downside of this is we are getting the round stalled a lot for my opponent, which is obviously, obviously not good. We don't like it when these rounds are getting stalled here, but you know, it is kind of what we've got to deal with a little bit. We kind of got to deal with it sometimes. But I think we're honestly going to be fine here. Our strategy is honestly not even that bad late game as well. It might seem like it's bad late game, but Mortar and Striker, guys. Mortar is a slept on late game tower, especially paired with Striker Jones, where you can be using that ability. And I can micro the um, Striker Jones ability too with this loadout because I'll have favorite trades. So when I micro the ability, I'll have increased sell back there. So I feel like I feel like this is a pretty good strategy here. I'm excited for this one. Seems like we're dealing with these black balloons fine. I don't think yellow balloons will do anything against me either. Uh, they're not sending me yellows. Okay, there they are. Actually, the initial yellow balloons might do stuff because they're laying over the blocks that they sent, but no, nah, it looks like we're fine. We're chilling here. We're chilling. All right, let's get my farm up. Banana plantation. Perfect. And we'll get valuable nanners on this as well. Perfect. And now I'll build up a mortar and start saving up for shell shock and stuff. Because that's my round 11 defense. There's another mortar as well. So it's definitely attack mortar sniper from them. There's no doubt in my mind it's attack mortar sniper. There's no doubt in my mind. That's their loadout. All right, we're fine against their zebras. We're chilling, we're chilling. They've definitely got a really high eco here, but I can't really do anything about that. Takmore Sniper basically always gets a really high eco. You've seen me use it in a couple videos, so you know you know how that strategy works, chat. You know how the strategy works. They send me round 11. I just got a Shell Shock. Pretty simple. We're going to have a second mortar right here. All right, perfect. Got my mortars up. Let's get rapid reload on both of them. I don't need the cannon chip anymore, so I just sold it. Once I have these two mortars up, I don't need to keep the cannon chip around. And then we'll get my second plantation for round 13 here. My farms are going to end up being really good this match. I'm going to have really, really solid farms. Honestly, I might want to go for a bank, to be honest. I think I'm going to go for a bank here. A little round 14 bank, because I can't get round 13. I should have stopped my eco a little bit earlier, and I probably could have gone round 13 bank, but round 14 bank's not bad. Because I'll be building this up into an among I'll be building this up into a monkey nomics anyways, right? So already having the bank's not a bad idea. Since it'll be a monkey nomics at the end of the day, anyways. Alright, I kinda like that. I kinda like that idea. We'll just keep Max Eco in here. I'll probably go to like 1500 eco would be my plan. 1500 would be a solid amount of eco to go for. I don't want to go for too much because I'm going to try to get my monkey nomics earlier. And if I go for more eco, then it'll be delay my monkey nomics. So it will 1500. Now sending them rushes. Should I send them rushes? Maybe a fortified Moab to force an artillery battery on my opponent's side. It's never a bad idea. Send them a little fortified Moab rush. Wouldn't be opposed to that. 1500 eco. Alright. And I want to start saving up for this banana research facility on my side too. BRF would be pretty good. Actually, no. We'll go for a go for a central market. How much is in this guy? Yeah, it does I don't have Benjamin's a thing though. I don't have Benjamin, so it's not gonna gain money extremely fast, but I still think bank play is not a bad idea here, to be honest. I just don't think it's a terrible idea. They send me a MOAB, I'll probably just boost against it. Or a fortified MOAB, rather. It doesn't look like they're interested. We're going to go for the central market, then. And now we're going to start saving up for my favorite trades. Okay, how much do they sell for? What, 18.5k? Alright. I should have placed my mortars closer to my boat, so I get to increase sellback on these mortars too. I didn't think about that. Uh, 
That would have been smart, Ryan. What's these sell for? Wait. No, they sell for more than that now, because I got the increased sell back now. They sell for 21k, and I can sell that as well. That's 28k almost. Right. Hopefully I'm fine against this. Let's get Grape Shot on my boat. We're fine. Wait, let's think. 20, 21k, and I have a 10k in here. That's 31k. Alright, I can afford. I can afford. Oh, I have, the, I have the top path on this. I didn't even think about that. That's fine. I literally have the top path on my... I was not thinking about that, to be honest. Let's send him one of these. We'll get a little bit aggressive at them just to force some defense, slow down their sniper farms and all that. All that jazz. Nothing crazy. And I'm also going to target my mortar up here now to start anti stolen rounds. Because anti-stolen rounds is important for me. Alright. We're fine. Oh. I should probably... Hmm. I think the camel balloons stop eventually. Let's micro this. Let's get another farm right here. And keep anti-stalling. Is this farm inside the range? It is not. Oh, it is not. I could have moved my... I should, could have gotten a better um, favorite trade spot. I now realize it's fine, though. This farm's inside the range, though, right? Yeah, this farm's definitely inside the range. Okay, we forced them to get a blue incineration there, actually. That's not what I expected. I didn't think I'd force that much. That's actually really good. That was a really good force. How much do these sell for? 33k? So I need 33k roughly on hand. Alright. Should be doable. Pretty soon. I should be able to get my banana res my um banana central up. Perfect. Yeah, my farms are going to be crazy. My farms are going to be crazy here. And we sent them those fortified ZOMGs to slow down their farms a little bit. They're still ecoing in round 26. I assume they'd want to stop ecoing sometime soon here. That's what I would do. If they send me a round 28 rush, I'm just going to pop an awe it. Alright. My farms are indeed very good. As we like to see. We're fine. Not even close. All right, we're fine, we're fine. Oh, I didn't even micro this. I've got like 10 things I've got to do. Incineration. How much does level 20 tri striker cost?
Can I target these, please? I need to target my mortars, bro. We're defending. Let's go, buddy! Micro pop and all. Mortar's OP, bro. This tower is OP. I'm telling you. Don't sleep on the mortar. Don't sleep on the mortar, bro. Let's go. Holy cow. GG.